If you follow Blade Ops on Facebook, then you saw a picture I posted this morning of what I found on my morning commute. If you don't follow us on Facebook, you should, because you might miss out on a picture of this. Morning commute brought me a raccoon. Yep, a nice big raccoon. I thought this would make a great everyday carry video. I'm not going to teach you how to skin a raccoon. I don't have a special skinning blade, a surgical blade. I just got out my everyday carry. I'm going to hang up the raccoon and I'm going to skin it. This is a real life scenario. You know, if the crap hits the fan, uh, you know, the world comes to an end and you find a raccoon and you want to eat it, you're not going to have a special skinning blade, a surgical blade. You might just have the knife on you. So I thought I'd show you what happens in real life with a real everyday carry with an average Joe like me. I don't know how to skin an animal. I've never skinned an animal in my life. So on camera, we're going to do it right here. I have here my Booker Kalishnikov. This is a great, inexpensive, everyday carry knife. Under 40 bucks. This is Ossate steel. Factory edge. I've never sharpened this. Uh, we're having kind of a makeshift gambrel here. Um, I'm hoping that in your kit or at your disposal, you do have some paracord and of course your everyday carry. It's not a special skinning blade. It's just the Kalishnikov. Ossate steel uh, factory edge. So we're going to go ahead and hang up the raccoon, uh, get started, and here we go. Like I said, I've, uh, I've never done this before. Got my gloves on, so we'll see how it goes. And hopefully I'm, uh, I'm getting all the, the action in the camera. Okay, I'm back. I got the camera adjusted, zoomed in a little more on the coon. Um, he is still pretty cold, uh, dead fairly recent, I'd say in the past uh, five or six hours. Kept him outside. Uh, it's probably 30, 32 degrees, 35 at the warmest. You can see he's, he's pretty stiff. Um, but we got the, uh, the nice coon hung up there. And we'll go ahead and get out our knife, Kalishnikov, factory edge. And like I said, I've never done this before. I did watch a couple YouTube videos on how to skin a coon before I got started. So hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. And actually when I saw the videos on how to cut it, they, they did the money cut or what they call from the ankles um, and around the vent and across the tail. They did that um, with the coon laying down. I didn't want to do that anywhere, anywhere to set it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do it while it's hanging up. Okay, so we've got our money cut um, from the ankles um, down to the middle. Then we're going to cut around the vent, go around the tail. Like I said, if you are a pro skinner or a trapper or hunter, feel free to comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. As far as the blade, uh, Kalishnikov Ossaint Steel, it's doing pretty well. Um, like you can, you can see, uh, cutting around these ankles, I'm putting very minimal, minimal pressure on that and it's slicing through pretty nice. Okay, we got our coon turned around. I probably should have had it at this angle from the get-go, but I didn't. Something I, I learned. Um, it's easier to attack it from the back, so go ahead and make our, our vent cut. It, this is kind of a tricky angle. I wanted it nice and high so I could talk with the camera and also see the coon. A little lower might be easier, or I'm, I'm sure even with a gambrel that can move up and down. And now we're going to, uh, we're going to split the tail part way down. Kind of pinch that and pull back the uh, the hair so you can see the tail. See what the Kalishnikov can do with this. Not bad, opening it up. I don't know if you can see in there. Opened up the tail nicely. And of course, um, this blade shape, this kind of spear point blade shape, probably isn't optimum. For skinning, but it's what I had on me, right? It's my it's my everyday carry. It's a real world experience. A drop point or, or skinning blade, of course, uh, something like that would be a little better. So we have the raccoon about halfway skinned. I still haven't done the tail. I can definitely see why on the other videos they suggest that you have a tail strip. But hey, we're in an everyday carry type scenario. You need the raccoon, you either need the fur, you need the meat, um, you only have what you have on you, so we're, we're making do. Hey guys, I have another idea about the tail. Here's the Boker Kalishnikov and the pocket clip. I'm actually going to clip the knife pocket clip onto the tail, 
and then grab it and use that to strip down and see if that works. So, see if, and I'm also going to see if it destroys the pocket clip. Okay, so I got the knife clipped on. Uh, you can see there behind my hand, got the knife clipped onto the tail, and we're going to go ahead and pull down. as hard as we can. Oh, got it. There's the tail. There's the fur. Stripped it out. And what did we use? The uh, Boker Kalishnikov pocket clip. It still feels um, plenty intact. Might have a little bit of play on there. Definitely something we could probably bend back. But we got the tail out with the pocket clip. Very cool. So we'll continue on with the skinning. I'm going to take a break, lower the camera a little bit so you got a good view of it. Um, or maybe I might zoom out a little bit, uh, finish off the animal, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I got the camera zoomed out. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to have the zoomed in view. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the raccoon. Okay, just fast forwarding a little bit. Uh, we got the, uh, the legs out, the front legs, and now we're just pulling uh, just past the head. You can see the, the two ears cut past those. I'm actually going to zoom the camera in um, for this last little bit and I'll start it back up. Now you can get a real good look of what a beginner I am. But um, here's the two ears uh, cut through those. And you can see the knife is still doing a great job skinning, putting barely any pressure um, to cut the flesh, skin, sinew, connective tissues, all that kind of stuff. So just doing some nice slices, pulling that down real good. Okay, last few cuts to get the nose off. I can feel the knife getting a little bit duller. Um, I've, I've, of course, hit into some bones and uh, done a fair amount of cutting. So I can feel a little bit duller, but it's still cutting um, just fine. And there we have it. I'll go ahead and zoom the camera out. Um, so there we go. We got the uh, raccoon skinned uh, without too much trouble with the uh, Boker Kalishnikov, just our, our everyday carry for the day. We even used the pocket clip for the tail stripper which I thought was a, you know, a cool thing that just happened on the fly um, using what you had around you. We'll go ahead and inside out the uh, raccoon so you can get a good look at it. And just remember, sometimes it's about using the, the tools you have with you. It's not all about the specialty tools. Sometimes you just uh, use what's in your pocket, use what's, what's in your car. There is, there's a good look at our raccoon. Not a bad job for the first try. We'll zoom in on the on the head there. Nice little uh, raccoon fur, skinned with our everyday carry. This, like I said, this is my first time skinning any animal. I've never done anything. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, had my everyday carry, saw an opportunity with the raccoon sitting there. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, check it out, share it with friends, and don't forget to uh, have a knife with you at all times. Check it out, blade off.